We're talking about 2022, when an 18-year-old barely two days past his birthday can walk into a store and buy two semi-automatic rifles and go on a rampage that kills 19 kids and two adults. I understand the argument that says that you can protect yourself, but why in the name of the Lord are rules not made stronger in America in terms of, as I've said, uh, background checks and licensing to ensure these things don't happen? Well, my brother in Christ, we have honestly far too many rules that ensure that people who do need these mechanisms to protect themselves don't have them. And I mean, uh, you know, you had mentioned bipartisan support. That's not really true. Uh, we're seeing a lot of saber rattling in the lower house. Uh, none of this stuff is expected to really go anywhere. And I mean, it being 2022, we have seen all over the world um, oppressive governments attacking their people. I mean, we've seen it in Hong Kong. We've seen it other places in the East. Um, and we've seen the worst massacres happen in places in Europe. Um, in, in your country, we see the tube getting blown up all the time. Yeah, but let, I don't let's, think I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really saying we don't, but that. can we talk about what we're on to talk about? Uh, my, my, my question right. is this. Do you not think America, bipartisan or not, needs to look at its gun laws, yes or no? Yes, I think we have far too many gun laws here. How? Do, how what, too many gun laws? Yes, sir. So you think you can be locked in a government cage if your barrel is slightly too short. And that happens to people in this country who are not even aware of these absurd restrictions we have. So, uh, so, so how do you, I mean, the, some states for the United all Kingdom, should, all right, but the United Kingdom should was attacked once. I'm talking about, I'm not criticizing, I, I would like you to explain to me how you imagine these horrors in Uvalde do not continue, because I think I, I, I grabbed this from somewhere, 40,000 people died last year in America. I'm not criticizing America, I'm saying surely American culture, American politics and American people don't want what happened in Uvalde to happen again. How are they going to change it? We all know that certain right. segments of the Republican Republican Party are funded by the NRA, so politicians don't want to change the rules, right? The the fascinatingly twitching course, corpse of the NRA, I don't think, can be blamed for um, really anything. It's that the American people believe in a fundamental right to be secure in our bodily autonomy, and we also have a healthy distrust of our government. And, you know, we have a massive country. It's hundreds of millions of people, and I thank God that violent crime has been in, on a steadily, uh, steady downward trend, and it has been nationwide. Um, you know, per 100,000, we're not that far off from, you know, a, a much more homogenized culture like the UK. Uh, so, so what I mean, you're what you're saying is you don't you don't really see this as a problem. I don't. I think so. If your exact question was how do we stop this, I think that some great measures that have been taken is to stop publicizing these people's names you know these horrible monsters who do these attacks stop publicizing their manifesto why don't you stop the fact that they can get weapons and murder people you talk about securing our own bodily autonomy we're talking about a man at 18 who could buy two semi-autograph are you being intentionally and disingenuous or are you just or what? I mean, <laughs> what I'm saying is, don't you want to stop the horror that you saw in Uvalde? You spurred. What about the 300,000 people estimated every year who use a gun to protect themselves? Yep. Should we just tell them, oh, sorry about no, that? No, not at all. But there surely has right. to be a middle ground, is exactly what I'm trying to say to you. Do you I think, think that we should not lock people in cages for peaceable conduct, which includes adults choosing to protect themselves and also the people who most need who are most likely to be violently victimized are people who are economically disadvantaged and who are the most economically disadvantaged well young people starting off in their lives especially why don't we why don't we talk of it in america about better mental health checks better training on how to safely use a weapon licensing that's what from the well, top licensing of my head is I would an think. idiotic way to ensure that only the elites uh, and people who have time and monetary uh, monopolies can access firearms. I think if you want to talk about mental health, there's a lot that can be talked about. For example, we shouldn't be, um, you know, vilifying people who seek out mental health treatment, as the Republicans often say, is that we need to, you know, lock these people in bins. I, I, I haven't I said that at all. What I, I, haven't, I haven't said that at well, all. I what I've said, what, I, what I've said, I beg your pardon? I said I didn't accuse you of being a Republican. I said Are you in your house or a gun store? <laughs> Why not both? Well, don't be flippant. Are you in your house or a gun store? I, I'm not being flippant. Are you in your house or a gun store? Because if that's your we, house, do you need all those weapons or isn't one enough? Uh, I like them. And in fact, the one right behind me, the Irish like these, uh, you know, to... 
I, I, I have Handle to say, I, I didn't expect a civil rights lawyer to be. I mean, listen, everybody's entitled to an opinion. What I'm I am, to I am say a licensed to, firearms dealer, and what, I have. Yeah, what I, yeah, it's an interesting analogy. Licensed oh. firearm dealer stroke civil rights lawyer. I'm simply saying this. There can't be anybody across the world who wants to see what happened in Uvalde. I absolutely get that Americans have every right to be secure in their own bodily autonomy. But when I talk to you about mental health checks and when I talk to you about training and, and, and licensing and you throw it back at me and talk about being thrown in cages, you give the impression that you don't care about the horrors that have happened. There have to be stricter controls, surely. There have to be to ensure those disasters don't happen. That's all I'm saying. I wish I could understand your logic, but that's a pretty substantial jump between you saying, hey, we need to put these massive impediments ahead of people who need to have these effective mechanisms to protect themselves and thus... Th that doesn't somehow lead to uh, that I, I don't think, you know, evil is evil. You know, I, I think you're being disingenuous. I think that if we're going to have rational conversations, we should try to focus on, you know, the what people are actually trying to say. And I don't think anyone here is saying that this uh, isn't a tragedy. I think it's kind of horrible to suggest that. Um, Matthew LaRossier, thank you very much indeed. He's a civil rights lawyer from America, and, and I'm allowed to say this because it's my show this morning. I think he sums up entirely why America's messed up when it comes to guns. 18 minutes to eight.